Today I'll change the drive belt, also called serpentine belt or the alternator belt of my 2013 Honda Accord 4 cylinder. This is a preventive maintenance item that comes due at around 100,000 to 110,000 miles or when the belt condition requires for it to be changed, which means the belt starts to slip, becomes noisy, get cracked, or become glazed or shiny on the outside. The belt replacement, if it's not done, um, it will break, cause more damage, inconvenience, and um, in the end, cost more money uh, to fix. Right now, I have a little over 121,000 miles on the vehicle, and which means the belt replacement is due or overdue. And let's look at the condition of the belt. Here is the belt, and you see it has uh, become glossy on the outside shiny here and it's called a serpentine belt because it just uh, curves around different parts uh, like a you know, like a serpent so you can buy the belt yourself directly uh, online or at the Honda dealer parts department that's the part number there and um, see the new belt uh, does not have a shine to it compared to you can see the current one um, big difference there and just make sure you get their belt that is for your uh, engine type. Mine is a four cylinder. So if you're ordering it online, a lot of places will have that parts diagram to show how does it go and twist and turn around different uh, parts of the engine. So keep track of that. So that's how you want to uh, put your belt back on. And because you have to wrap the belt around the pulleys. Uh, you gotta make sure they do the work when a vehicle is uh, in cold state. Um, if you've driven the vehicle, wait a couple hours before the engine cools down. Because you want to be touching different parts of the engine. If it's hot, uh, that's not going to be comfortable. To remove the belt, I'm going to use the 17 millimeter bolt right here. I'm going to turn it clockwise, release tension. And that's the auto tensioner, this guy here. So that's going to move to the right, release tension on the belt, and we're going to remove it from all of these components and put the new belt on. The tools we need to do the work is either a serpentine belt removal tool, something like this. It comes with different attachments, so this is really helpful when you have different vehicles and we're going to be changing the belt on those. Uh, now I know I only need 17 millimeter on my Accord, uh, so the simpler way to do that also is you may already have the combination wrenches in your toolbox or if not you can just uh, get them from Walmart, Home Depot, any other place uh, you get the tools. And um, we know we're going to be turning it clockwise to release tension, so we can use two large ones, this is 17, and either use a larger or about the same size and want to make sure that this actually fits in here and just have it connect like this because we're gonna to have to move it clockwise so this has to have enough grip here like this to be able to move the wrench. So now you can see how it connects on the 17 millimeter bolt. And I can easily pull that and you can watch the tension release on the belt. And as there's, the belt gets free, remove it Make sure you don't your fingers don't get pinched in it. And there we go. And slowly release the tension back on the tensioner. So we're gonna release the tensioner here. So the belt is free and I'm going to remove this wrench and remove the belt. Alright, 
here comes the belt. Okay, it's a little bit of wiggling and the belt comes loose. So here is a comparison of the old belt. Uh, you can see the grooves, the ridges, uh, a little bit uh, farther apart compared to the replacement belt. So this looks like uh, it's gonna have a little bit more snug fit. Uh, the grooves or ridges on the pulleys, I mean, they're gonna be very snug fit into the new belt. So we're gonna start to install the new belt uh, from the lower parts of the engine and uh, the tensioner will be the last one we're gonna put back on. I'm gonna check to see there's no sound. Look at the belt layout diagram and start the install from the AC compressor pulley which is on the lower right hand side. After I installed uh, the belt, wrapped it around the AC compressor pulley on the lower right hand side, I then installed the belt or wrapped it around uh, the pulley on the lower left hand side which is the drive shaft or the engine pulley. I just wrapped it around it, it's a little loose uh, which is okay because I'm going to pull the belt from the other side. So a little uh, flexibility like this right now is okay. Once the belt is wrapped around the two lower pulleys, hold it from uh, top of the AC compressor pulley which is on the lower right hand side and pull it straight up slowly. Uh, towards the alternator pulley and wrap it around that and this will uh, make the belt fit snug around the two lower pulleys and also make sure that it doesn't slip off the two lower pulleys. So this is, um, I pulled the belt from the front end here and I, as I was doing that I put it back on the alternator pulley here and uh, also uh, I made sure as I was pulling from the front end uh, it does not come off uh, at the engine, the driver pulley here. So I position this in a way that now that I can move the tensioner back a little bit on the right hand side to get more leeway and put the belt on the alternator. Got this back here. So position the belt in a way that now I can pull on the tensioner and as it gives me a little bit more uh, belt uh, belt to use, I'm going to put that back on the alternating pulley. So we'll start moving this. It was easier to put the belt here on the alternator first, a belt on the alternator first, and then I put it back on the tensioner. So I release the tension on the tensioner, making sure all my belts, all belts are in the correct spot in their grooves, and now I'm gonna release the tension on the tensioner. I did find that the old belt, um, on the old belt, the tensioner was pulled away more. As I put the new belt on, it's not uh, as farther away. 
uh, it's much more snug, a much more closer fit here, and uh, it just fit very quickly. So let me start the car. It's working good. I turned on the AC where I heard the click sound. Uh, Slide belt is good to go. Thanks for watching.